do you have the Splendid 2100 XC combo vented unit and there's no lights in the front panel? Well, I had the same problem, so stay tuned to see what I did. Hi, I'm Steve with Radar Road Warriors. What we had happened is the power went out last night and it came back on in between our inverter and our setup in the basement. Something did not transfer over. I had to disconnect everything, shut the inverter down. I got power back going. After that, I noticed that the washing machine did not have any lights in the front panel. I did a little bit of research online. They talked about just pulling the plug out for 40 seconds, plugging it back in. I tried that, still didn't have any lights on the front panel. I verified I had power at the plug. And then I found a forum online that talked about procedures on tracing down the power on the inside of the washing machine. To do that, I had to take the top cover off, which is pretty simple. There's two screws in the back of it. You slide the cover backwards and then lift up. Don't try to pick straight up or you'll break the tabs like I broke one of my tabs. And then there's a cover on the back, this little round cover where you can change your belt. You'll get to the surge protector at that part and you'll see the computer brain box on the left hand side down in there. The surge protector looks like one of these guys and you'll have power coming into it and it has to have power going out of it. I checked the power going in, I had 120 volts going in, the brown wire is hot and the blue is your neutral. So you'll have 120 volts across those two wires. So it goes in through the plug on this side and it comes out through the pigtail and goes to the circuit board. I did not have 120 volts coming out of this. So then I checked continuity of the brown coming out from the brown side going in, blue going out, blue side going in. I had no continuity on the blue side in versus blue side out. That means there is a broken circuit inside of this piece, not allowing my power to properly flow through the machine. It does have stickers and part numbers on it. Believe it or not, these are Whirlpool parts inside of the Splenda washer. So that's pretty cool. Should be able to find some parts and pieces pretty easy. Next step is to find a part, order it, put it in, and hopefully complete the job. Ordered the piece on Monday, showed up on a Thursday. It was pretty easy to plug it in, and now we're gonna see if it works. Make sure you check the description down below. I'll put a link to the form I found of instructions on tracing down the power. I'll also put a link to the part I ordered to change it out. Any other information I found in the process that'll help you out to fix your washer machine. To get back with clean clothes, and we'll see you in the next video.